All right, so what we have here is we want to consider a value uh, to be significantly low z scores less than negative 2 or to be significantly high to be equal or, well, greater than or equal to 2. So a test is used to assess or assess readiness for college a recent in a recent year. The mean score is 20.4 and the standard deviation was 4.9. So uh, we want to uh, identify the scores that are significantly low or significantly higher, the threshold for it. So what we do for that is uh, we're going to use this equation. There it is. So we have our mean and then we have our standard deviation and then we have our z-score. Well, they have the criteria for the z-score, so uh, significantly low is negative 2. We don't know what x is going to be, but we know that um, our mean, or excuse me, yeah, our mean is 20.4, and our standard deviation is 4.9. So we just solve for x in this case, and then we do this for negative 2, which is the low end, and then 2, which is the high end. So we get negative 9.8 is equal to x minus 20.4. So we add 20.4. And what we end up with is 10.6. Yeah. So x is equal to 10.6 for low, low end, significantly low. And um, basically, again, we just do the same thing. And we, but we just change negative 2 to 2. And what we end up with... Um, Oops, is x is equal to 30.2. If you score 30.2 or higher, you can feel pretty good about yourself. And if you score 10.6, you just need to study hard. All right, for high. Okay, so those are the scores for the college entrance exam to have a z-score of either negative two or less you got to score 10.6 or below. And then for Z-score 2 or above, you got to score 30.2 or above. All right, I hope that helps you out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.